Grand Risings. Welcome to today. So I've had this realization that when we speak on things that we know we're capable of, or rather when we give other people advice about things that we also could be implemented in our own life and then we don't do them, we run into obstacles. And they're very obvious what, it's very obvious what the obstacle is. And I noticed this because I was talking with a friend of mine. He was like, Demetrius, man, you should be outsourcing, you know, these things in your business, whatever, you know, whatever. And I'm like, I've told him to do the same thing for himself because he's he has all the, the pieces to do so with. And every time he would give me a little bit of advice like that, it would be like, he'd be like, he'd be, he was driving. He'd be like, dang, man. It was like, I just missed the exit. But like, dang, man. Uh, th there's, a, there's this crazy driver on the road. Like some, something would just be blocking his path. And I'm listening to him and I'm like, man, you know what? It's, it's not a coincidence that you will say something to me that is elevating me and then you'll run into an obstacle immediately afterwards. When, if you would take your own advice, you would elevate yourself and not have that issue of having to go through the same cycles over and over and it's a Lollapalooza year so I'm realizing that I have more capabilities that I'm culpable for you know what I mean like they need to be expressed just like I need to express them there's it's a it's not need to but they want to and if they're not they're gonna be like well I'm gonna put this roadblock in your way till you start using me so um, so I, I mean that's just been like a good realization the other thing is that um i'm doing this paperwork doing this administrative work for the business basically just filing away the the before and after photos the final invoices um all the uh invoices emails basically like a conversation thread any of the notes that i took during the business and i'm gonna put all that together so i can recreate this process for the next job because I'm going to use all of that data that I now have to build out the job and execute on the plan at an exceptional level and the way that I can do that is by just taking a, a day maybe two really just taking as much time as is necessary and appropriate going through all the data seeing what is going to be implemented, calibrating the company with different policies, with new or different policies and procedures to implement the data. Um, basically, like unlearning the things that didn't work, learning the things that are le working, relearning the things that are going to go into the next project, and then um, putting all that in like some some paperwork somewhere so I can just keep track of it. Like a, eventually, all of this stuff is going to become the operation manual the company and then I'll just hand it to somebody and be like this is how you run the company and it's going to make it a lot simpler for them and for me uh, to like to administrate to administer the business of the company um, so uh, passively so there's I'm doing that and then after that I'll be inter setting up these interviews for candidates which is his own systematic process as well uh, to line up these candidates for next week uh, to interview them, bring on one to two people, and then um, have that going. And then before the end of this day, I want to, I may or may not, but I want to finish getting this other estimate back to this man for his uh, his floors. But of course, it's for, for his hardwood and for his laminate. Because, I mean, I told him I would. It's been a little bit longer than it should have been. However, it wasn't a focus. So, uh, I do have some time today. I can, like, put the pro put the estimate together for him. Send it over to him. And if he wants to go with the job, then he can give me a deposit today or whenever he gets it. And then I'll start the job in, like, two weeks. So, uh, after I'm, I'm not starting this job until after next job until after I at least bring on two more people and get a credit card processor so I don't have to be going back and forth 
about cash. I want to just charge their card. Like, All right, well, we're done. Charge the card. Go on to the next job. And then, uh, you know, they want any sort of like, oh, come back and do this, come back and do that. I'm like, yeah, I'll send somebody back out there at an hourly rate, take care of whatever needs to be taken care of. But I'm getting the main portion and going on to the next job. Because I don't need people policing my time. And I'm not having to police my time. I am administration. This is administration, right? So welcome to the administration. This is how we do things. These are the terms that you're gonna operate you're gonna operate in accordance with when you hand me that deposit. So they know what's up, I know what's up, and it's going up. So I'm gonna you know I'm gonna do those two, three things. You take take this exit uh you do, well, you can do 75 style. We're going to get something to eat in the city. Oh, that's, that's crazy. So, um, so there's, you know, really like three or four things, but basically it's like the hiring process. Continue making, I'm going to continue making my values videos. So that's going to craft my company culture. So whenever I do have an office, I'll just play those in the background. People be like, man, what's this guy about? It's like, yeah, I've already got like a hundred something videos with my values laid out in them. And so uh, people will like, okay, like the company culture is gonna be um, there. One, 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 prince, one value that I do like is hate well. That is a company uh, value. That's my value. Another value is preservation and elimination. That's a value. For me to preserve, I have to eliminate things that are uh, not, that are hindering the preservation, that are hindering change. So, and then another one is adaptability and communication styles. Because I gotta be talk, I'm talking to all of these customers, clients, and some of them are gonna be this and that, but at the end of the day, I'm standing on the foundation of the business that I'm growing, and so, I'm going to be, uh, uh, I'm campaigning. I'm constantly campaigning for the business. The business conquest. Capture more of the market. Yeah. So, uh, as I'm capturing market share, loyalty, customer uh, appreciation, um, I'm, shoot, I'm really squashing any sort of uh, hindrance to that mission. So right now I have my main mission, which is my main mission, which is keep the ads on forever. And then all of these other missions that I'm deciding to pick up are just, they're really secondary. But the main mission is still keep these ads going because that's gonna keep the business floating. And then, you know, from there, I'll put more money in my pocket, put more, uh, pay off more debt, buy more, uh, get a lease or buy a building, um, develop company standards of like, okay, this is the minimum, this is the minimum, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything below 5,000, it's not worth my time, or anything way between five or 20,000 is worth my time, and that's just gonna be, you know, what it is, because I'm, I'm thinking, I'm like, I got three guys working with me, I'm, let's say I'm paying them each 3,000 a month. Okay, so that's 9,000. So that means I need to be making 20 to 25,000 after, well, 20 to 25,000 before I pay them. So that's like, what is that like? Let's say it's like three jobs at $6,000 each. Do one a week and then like have some time off or whatever. So look, let's say there's 7,000, right? It's 21,000, pay them 9,000 out of that, plus whatever else comes up, tools, Insurance, paperwork, expenses, all that other stuff. Now that leaves me eight, nine thousand for myself because I'm gonna pay myself three, and then I'm gonna put five in the business. And so then, there it is. You know, the business is profited five. I got I paid. I got paid a little bit, and I just put that on repeat until I hit a, a new level of uh, of uh, either. We're overworked, we're working too much time, there's not enough time to do payroll, and or, uh, you know, so I, 
had another bottleneck, at which point I haven't turned off any of the ads for the positions I'm hiring for, so administrative or uh, installation or uh, HR managers, because I'm gonna have to fire people at some point. Um, so then that'll, you know, or I'll have to fire myself at some point. And then that'll be, you know, bottleneck eliminated. Other than that though, we're, we're getting it in and I'm just uh, putting all the paperwork together, putting all the processes together and just like I'm containing the business and keeping the boundaries protected 